The spectrum analyzer is most likely the area where you will spend most of your time working. The vertical axis shows us the reference level and the horizontal axis the frequency value. We can modify the span pressing either of the two slightly transparent buttons at the center of the screen, labeled as minus and plus. The span selected appears in the lower central area of the screen, while the maximum and minimum frequency values shown on the screen appear in the lower right and left corners of the screen respectively. In full span mode, we can inspect the band from 5 MHz to 2700 MHz on screen. In case we want to modify the reference level, we need to press the slightly transparent and arrow-shaped buttons in the left side of the screen. On the left side of the maximum frequency, shown by the analyzer on screen, the resolution filter bandwidth value appears, being its value either 230 kHz or 2 MHz. In the lower left corner, we will find a camera icon which will let us take screenshots and store them in the analyzer's internal memory. In the upper right corner, we find the Spectrum Analyzer configuration menu with the following options. Edit Channel Plan, Channel Plan Editing without the need to use any external software. Any channel modulation parameter can be edited. Once changes have been saved, we can check that the channel plan we are working on is the one we chose previously. The Edit Channel Plan menu features its own preferences menu, from which we can add and erase channels from the existing channel plan, or erase, import, or create new channel plans. The New Channel Plan option will give us the option of creating the new channel plan using another as a reference, or based on the channels identified in the current cable TV network by running a signal scanning over the previously chosen channel plan. Or, as a last option, we can create the channel plan from scratch. Units. These are the measurement units dB microvolts, dB millivolts, or dBMs. Reference line. It allows us to activate a green reference line in the spectrum analyzer screen. Trace. Besides the current trace, you can activate a max hold and a mean hold trace in red and green color, respectively. CTB CSO We will define here how the intermodulation products measurements will be carried out. For the CTB, we choose whether the measurement will be taken within the tuned channel it will be needed to deactivate that channel or if we will take another channel that is not in use. For the CSO, we can choose which frequencies will be used around the main carrier to take the measurements. Filter For selection of the resolution filter bandwidth 230 kilohertz or 2 megahertz, or whether we want it to be assigned automatically by the meter depending on the span selected. Tuning frequency demodulation. In case we wish to demodulate a carrier tuned by frequency that is not included in our current channel plan, we must input its modulation information here so that the analyzer can demodulate it. In the upper area of the screen, from left to right, we can find 
currently selected channel plan. If we press this button, we find a list showing all channels included in that channel plan and we can select any of them. This is what we call tuning by channel. Once a channel is selected, the meter will tune it and show it in the screen. Next we find the tuning by frequency button. In case we have defined a DBG DOCSIS group in the working channel plan, the next button will let us tune any of those DBG carriers by channel. Next to the right, we find all the measurements taken over the tuned channel. If the channel is digital, we can see power level, calculated by integration, MER, and finally, by pressing the top right corner button, we can see the rest of measurements. Pre-BR, post-BR, constellation, and the channel modulation parameters. If the channel is analog, we can check the main carrier level and, by pressing the system button on the right, video and audio carrier level, video to audio ratio, carrier to noise ratio, and HAM. In this area, we can as well take the CTB and CSO measurements and listen to the audio carrier. It is important to remember the following. We can demodulate both SCQAM single channel QAM and DOCSIS channels, up to 3.0 version included, while working in this mode. If we get to the Spectrum Analyzer tool from the Fiber section, everything we explained so far is still valid. We just need to input the signal through the meter's fiber optic connector.